Hi, and good evening, folks. I'm really here to tell you that, very sadly, we've taken the decision to cease meeting as a church for the time being. Uh, this means that there'll be no formal life group gatherings, uh, none of our usual outreach activities, uh, Jolly Tots and Friday Clubs, and no church gathering at Crossway Church at our building on Sunday morning or in the evening. The reason for this is basically because we feel that the most responsible thing for us to do is to support the ongoing national effort to manage the spread of the coronavirus. Uh, this evening the Prime Minister advised that everyone should avoid gatherings and crowded places and to stop non-essential contact with others. I immediately spoke with the other elders at Crossway and we agreed together really that the implication was as it is. I really want to emphasise though that the temporary halting of gatherings in no way means the end of us being church together. There are all kinds of things that we can do remotely uh, and as elders, we'll be doing all that we can to facilitate the enjoyment of meaningful fellowship and really also to enable us to continue to sit together under God's word. Uh, this is the one of the blessings, I guess, of modern technology. Uh, and we'll be in touch concerning specifics about that later in the week. However, I just wanted to take this opportunity to share <clears throat> just to say a couple of other things. I'm extremely aware that some people will be feeling particularly lonely and isolated at this time. So let's try and do all that we can to keep meaningful contact going. Maybe the old-fashioned phone call for nothing more than a catch-up and a word of encouragement is a skill that we will need to relearn uh, at this time. I'm also aware that a sizable number of people in the church are very much on the front line in terms of their work with the NHS. And please know that we love you dearly and we are so thankful for all that you're doing. And let's all be praying for those who are working especially hard in increasingly difficult environments and having to make very difficult decisions um, in order to, for this to happen. If there are any ways that we as a church family can be supportive in that, then we'll communicate those things in due course. I'm also aware that for many of you, there are significant economic implications which are outside of your control by virtue of some of the decisions that are being made and some of the announcements that are taking place. And you are facing unexpected worries in relation to your own employment. Please let's be remembering these folk in our prayers. And do know that Crossway Church has a, a very modest yet a very real hardship fund which exists to meet genuine need. There are a few things that we're planning. We're planning some kind of interactive online live stream for Sunday mornings. It will be a bit like a Sunday service but probably different as well. A way for us to genuinely kind of interact but also still sit together under God's word. We're planning, hopefully, to have some kind of a resource for families to use at home with their own children. Uh, we're planning some kind of a prayer circular so that we can be pray praying specifically for one another as needs arise. And we're also thinking through whether there's a way for folk to request a regular phone call uh, if you are feeling particularly isolated. Beyond this, I'm sure there are many ways that will emerge where we can help each other. But here's one of the things that I'm praying at the moment. 
that we will truly live out our theme verse this year. I lift my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of the heavens and the earth. Right now, the looming mountains seem large, but God asks us to lift our eyes higher above the mountains to the maker, the maker of the heavens and the earth, no less. And may God be the one who turns our fear into faith in him. Thanks very much. Goodbye.